Ooh, that was a good voice crack. I don't know why I'm starting off the video so early, but I am. 37%. Yes, there's 100 golden spatulas in case you didn't know. So, 37% is 37 spatulas. I guess I don't really know how to make it any clearer than that. Anyways, we're at Sand Mountain here, and what do we have left? We have one more golden spatula to get. That's beat Larry's time in Sand Mountain. So how about we go ahead and we do this? Okay. Now, um, as I understand, a lot of you guys were a little upset with me because, well, because I cheated. Um, and that is that I didn't, I don't really feel like I cheated. Actually, I do kind of want to show off Sandy's going through this. What the heck? Oh, no, only Spongebob can do it. But yeah, like, a lot of you guys were kind of upset with me because I used the cheat code, so from now on, I will not do that. Why is he turned around? Glitch? What the heck? Why is he turned around? What the heck? He's turned around. Okay, I've never had that happen to me before. Uh, if you go up here, there's an alternate pathway that I believe will all, and I'll just get you a sock um, that I don't really want at the time. Yep, a sock that I'm not gonna collect. I went out of my way to not collect you. I hope you feel good about yourself. Ha ha! Ah, jeez. Um, I really hope I can, uh, I can beat this. Because I'd really like to go to our next course. Which, um, really won't even be a course because I'm skipping the course that I despise. As you can see, there was a Sandy thing there. Um, yeah, Sandy will get you a sock in here. If you're getting it, but I'm not getting it, so yeah. We still have a minute 30 left, so come on. I really hope we can do this. That will break off a shortcut for you, so if you can do that, I believe that's actually how you're intended to beat Larry, is it? Let's find out, shall we? Alright. That could have been actually how you're supposed to beat. Not suck! God dang it! <clears throat> it's so hard not to collect these socks. So yes, that pathway is actually for a sock, and I believe it's a pretty good shortcut, too. But, of course, I could be wrong. I usually am not wrong in those situations, though, so let's find out together. Together, together. At least I skipped the part where you get freaking hurt all the time. Yeah, that part sucks. Alright, I'm gonna go this way! And hopefully I'm gonna find a good shortcut, because I'm running pretty darn low on time. I'm gonna take the shortcut! Yes! Alright, come on, can I please beat this? That'd be nice. Um, I'm taking some pretty good shortcuts, though, so hopefully I can beat this. I'm really hoping to uh, beat it. But actually, I don't think I'm gonna... Crap, no, I don't want to redo this again! And I... Oh my god, there's a finish line. Did I get it? Am I gonna get this? <gasps> Yay! Oh god, I almost died. Okay. Not like it would matter because I already beat it, but hey. Yay! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I beat Larry's time. You beat my time! Why is he turned around? That's funny. <laughs> That's so funny. But anyways. Yes, there you have it. There you go. We are now done at Sand Mountain um, with the Golden Spatulas. So I will see you guys uh, back in Bikini Bottom in just a second, okay? Okay, now there's a couple things that we can do. We could go where we're actually supposed to go, which is Rock Bottom. Um, or we can not do that. Give Mr. Krabs some more money and just go to the next area and get the awesome move that I want. Um, I have 7,000 shiny objects right now, so let's see how many he actually needs. Yes. Yes. So, 39 golden spatulas in our grasp. We need 40 to go to the next area. I say we try and do it. Alright, how many does he need now? 5,000 shiny objects, and I have 2,000 some. 
actually, I'm pretty sure with a few rounds at, um, Sand Mountain, I could probably get it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut ahead to me going back to Sand Mountain and getting a bunch of freaking shiny objects, okay? So then we'll have 40, then we can go to the next area and we can get the awesome move that I want to do, that I want to get, and then we can actually do some more courses. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh my god! I died so, I died so many times in there! Like seriously! Took me forever to get 5,000 shiny objects, but I got it. Okay, so now we have 40 golden spatulas. Let's see what Mr. Krabs needs next. Uh, let's go down here, and we can actually look. Mr. Krabs, so next he needs 5,500. Obviously, it's going to be a while before we get up to that. So let's just go here. Alright, Industrial Park, here we come. I'm excited. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, kids? Actually, I think the majority of my audience is um, adults. Well, actually, I don't know, actually. But yeah. Not really. Actually, this boss is a little bit tough. Yes, meet Robot Patrick here. Um, he is going to, he has that ice cream cone on his hand. That's basically how he's going to be trying to defeat us through this entire fight. And I gotta ask you guys, um, is it obvious, is it really obvious as to what this game is based off of mid-boss wise? Because we took on Robot Sandy, this is Robot Patrick. Hmm, I wonder what's going to be next. <laughs> As if it were really that hard to figure it out. I'm not going to lie, though. Um, when this game came out, uh, it it was called Battle for Bikini Bottom. And that's when like I was really into like war and crap. I was really into Star Wars. I wasn't... I was never really into shooters and stuff. But when this game came out, I was really into Star Wars. And I was like... Hey, maybe it's it says battle from Kitty Bottom, so maybe we're battling. No, I had no idea. This is what was um, this is what it was gonna be. But this game is one of my favorite games out there. Just like, oh my god, I understand that you know it it's um probably there are some of you that don't like it because you know it is SpongeBob, but you know it's so good. It's a lot like Mario. It really is. It's a lot like Galaxy. But we also get frozen there. Alright, now we got Sandy's creepy eyes. Alright, so now what Robot Patrick is going to do here is going to do that spin attack. Don't let him hit you, though, because if he actually does get the chance to hit you, He's going to do all of his moves all over again, and that is really annoying. None of us want that. So what we're going to do here is kick him, and then he's going to do that move. So yeah. This hot goo could melt anything, including me. Oh, God. So what we did there just now is we just um swung on this, releasing part of the ceiling. Um... That's how that works, by the way. That's the one move, though, I believe that he does not do twice, is the, um, hot, the just breath one. Oh, crap. Um, pull. Alright, so we pull that, and it's a path right up to Patrick. That is how we hurt him. Now he releases the goo even higher up. It's almost a SpongeBob and Squidward over there. That's the one attack I also can't dodge. Hmm, I don't know why. I'm actually going to go over here really quick. This is a little out of our path. But I want a couple underwears. 
Yikes! I really hope he does not hit me here. I was gonna do it over and I'm gonna feel like fool. Alright, yes, he did not do it over, so let's hit him. Let's do that. And boom! Sandy's done. Say goodbye. Whoa! Please tell me that did not actually hurt me. Alright, what he does there is he um, does his frozen breath attack where he tries to freeze us. So this is the only new attack. But now everything is frozen. And we don't have Sandy for those ceiling parts. So you're asking yourself, so what do we do? Well, SpongeBob said it's time to roll out some robot punishment. So we're going to have to do just that. He's going to stay um, knocked out for a little bit because we need time to get over here and... No, this wouldn't be a fair fight otherwise. Oh crap, I missed. Do oh, I miss? No, I'm not gonna do it. Shut up! Shut up, fishes! Of course! I freaking lose. Gosh! Alright, should you lose, this happens again and you're back here. So, um, every three hits that you get at them is basically just a, uh, um, I don't have a checkpoint, I guess you could say. Kind of like in the courses, but not in the courses. I don't really freaking know. But I got him, but I got freaking hurt in the process. Okay, what the heck, man? Uh, the only thing I don't like about this boss is that it, it feels a little weird. It feels just a little bit weird when you have to hit him with the bowling ball. That's really my only complaint, though. Other than that, he's a great boss. They designed him perfect. Shut up, I got it. Man, what the heck? And jump. And jump again. Alright, go. I wanted to get back over here. Okay. It gets actually a little tricky if you get if you get stuck um over there. Then it will actually get a little bit tricky for you, but yeah, I, I recommend just getting over to this main platform, and you should be completely fine from all of his attacks. Because they're not that hard to dodge on the main platform, but they get pretty tricky if you're on these. At least in my opinion it does. Maybe I just suck, I don't really know. Well, I suck, but we all knew that. Alright, and... He's now got one hit left. So let's get over here. Get over here and all right, boom, let's do this. Let's finish him off. Hopefully. Come on, we can do this, SpongeBob. We can do this. Yikes. So do I, and I have a good platform to do it. Yeah. Kaboom! Okay, that's weird. But now, we're done with that. Now it's time for another little cutscene with Plankton, of course, because that's what happens after all these. It automatically saves our game here. Very nice. This is the um, last area of Bikini Bottom here, and we need uh, we need a few 
more um ah crap I did not mean to do that before I end it off here though I do want to talk to you <laughs> yes uh, we actually have a new move if you press L1 you have the cruise bubble this blows up anything alright let me demonstrate it here and then I'll end it off Boom, see? Now stone tiki's are no longer a problem for us. This move makes SpongeBob the most overpowered person ever. And this is how you're meant to finish off downtown Bikini Bottom, and this is how you're meant to do a couple other things. So, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we're gonna be doing just that. See you guys then. Bye.